Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video I'm going to be having a little wander around the town. See what's coming, what's going, look at the different shops and things. So let's get on with the video. So the first one I want to look at is the new undercarriage to get to the new tram stop. You've got a couple of units underneath here and I have heard Greg's meant to be taking one of them. So I don't know which one, so they don't be closing like a shop down in the town centre or you know to have a couple of Greg's dotted around. You also got the new Holiday Inn just on the top and it also looks like you've got a holiday in entrance just right down at the bottom also we've got a choir in town today and this used to be the hot it used to be a pub, but now it's King Street Dental Service Surgery. We also got Tattoo Unicorn, what look like it's gone now. They got some metals on the doors and windows. Wonder is this uh, book of the Unifernity what they're meant to be building? Just around the corner from here. Got a seagull on the bin. See what you can have. See what you can have out of it. As you may be able to tell, then it's slowly getting all bought out. Look like we got all the empty building right here. Got some building materials. Wonder if they don't be soft building something right here. We got some brief blocks and stuff just right there. I don't understand in having a gate here. I know it probably stopped the car some things, but you got a car park right next to it where you can just step over. Hmm. Got out of the building with metal doors and things on. One is them buying both for them roads. Not too sure. Got too many buildings all boarded up around this bit. It's a shame really. As you can see, we've got the Blackpool lad just right there if you haven't checked in for the awesome things out yep now i'll put a link down in this description and in the last video even got noticed by blackpool newspaper itself and of course we have got the new dwp building all up and getting ready to open up I do remember when this place was called Popeye, but now it's called Marigold, if I remember correctly. But the full block, just right on this corner, it's all getting a bit of work done. Maybe the roof or something, what they might need to work on. Got a fruit shop, stuff on Church Street. You also got cash converters that been there for years. And who remembers sleep cam? It used to be a bed shop. It's a place where people go worship now. Got a few boarded up windows.
who remember these type of shops before Facebook came into place. Nowadays, it's just quick and easy to put an advert out. But back in the day, you need to personally have a walk around the town area and see kind of find a shop to repair the gadgets and, and stuff. We got the flower shop just across the road. Look like you're getting a bit of repair done or maybe getting a paint on the outside. And here we got the old Chinese buffet. Well, I've sadly gone. And just where Blackpool bargains were, it meant to be come, becoming to be a gentleman club. And here we have got the greedy pig. This is quite a newest attraction to Blackpool. And it always looked quite busy. Of course, we also got the real Vegas. Fancy a bit peckish when you come to Blackpool. Fancy something different. Why do you not get yourself down to this new Indian food? Got a dinner time special. If you come before 4 p.m. And it's not long been open. And as you can see, it's already a big hit to the locals and holiday makers. This one's actually a family run one as well. They've got like three or four uh, restaurants and it's a family run chain. Ah, there you go, you heard it from the Blackpool lad himself. Thanks for the information. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Still plenty more to come. Like I said, a bit of a different type of video from walking around, seeing what new businesses around, see what I've forced down in the town centre. Because I know there'll be plenty of people. Well, like I've been years ago, I probably just want like a bit of an update of the town centre bit. So, I don't want to show you a bit of this dirty blonde. I lived in Blackpool for many, many years now. I heard about the place before, but I never knew what it was. So let's carry on with the video. So, then this is a sign here for dirty blondes. And this is the first time I've ever seen it, like whereabouts it located. I thought it was located down the prom. Oh, they sell popper cocktails and pizza and live music. And as you can tell, they're like a stamp on there. And it says, not a strip club. You wouldn't really thought about um, a nightclub type, five hour probably say, being down that alleyway. But here we go, we all learn something new every day. Dirty blondes. A other shop slash building is under construction. I haven't seen this shop before. It's called Horizons Home Care. But when I think of the word Horizons, I always think about that post office scandal. What left a lot of people losing their businesses and things. We also got a cat cap, it looked like. Just next to the promenade now. As you can tell, then I got over shop here with a couple of broken windows. I'll show you more of the broken windows in a minute. But it's a shame seeing all the good properties just been left but on the other hand it's too do to dear to run plus in summer but your business is blooming and in winter probably not as much it's a shame really but Blackpool is really a nice place to come in winter and summer even so in winter there's not a lot of places open we got a nice shop just over there the Springfields and do all sorts in there from customized cups to hoodies to hats anything what you can think of nine out of ten and we'll have it over there now i'll leave a link in the description of this shop but i think they do online all this as well you like this building right here a nice big building 
and the amount of like, housing problems we got. So they could change these into bed sets, maybe flats depending how big big the rooms are. Well it's just the same, just seeing buildings all boarded up for years and years and years to come also. Also got like a block of flats just over the road. Well up for auction. So hopefully someone will buy them and do them up to a high standard for the people who live there. But it looked like it already had been occupied by a couple of people. Back in the 90s or something, the buildings will all be busy. And just over the road, just on Tybert Road, we have got a new type of busy hotspot maybe. Is this done to take over from Costa and Starbucks? Have we got like a new coffee, cakes and bakes. Just having a little wander down Tarbert Road and as you can tell for a wet day in Blackpool it is quite a busy one. <laughs> Just on Tarbert Road still and the new restaurant opening up soon. Right then guys, I think that's over the end of this video. But well, if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this one, then please hit the subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any upcoming videos, then please turn on that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.